Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how a 500-year-old flying machine sketch by Leonardo da Vinci could help solve a modern drone problem. Leonardo da Vinci was not just a painter. He was also a sculptor, an architect, and even an engineer and a scientist. In fact, one of his scientific sketches hides the secret to better drones. Da Vinci made drawings of machines that didn't exist at the time and were only invented years later. His innovative ideas included vehicles that could fly, go underwater, and some amazing weapons. A team of scientists has uncovered that they are not merely sketches, but offer a lot more for today's modern machines. IFL Science reported that a new paper by the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Johns Hopkins University states that a sketch of a flying machine made by da Vinci in the 15th century holds clues to creating quieter drones that are more efficient. It features an aerial singular corkscrew propeller, which needed to be spun by men at its base, resulting in it taking off. The authors of the study wrote, Leonardo da Vinci's aerial screw, conceived in the 15th century, represents one of the earliest conceptualizations of lift-generating rotary flight. The researchers say little attention has been paid to this design by da Vinci, which can be applied to machines made today. They specifically point to the aerodynamic and aeroacoustic performance of this rotor. The latter can be used to make better drones and can let them enter fields where they have yet to make a mark. The researchers say that one of the reasons drones are now widely used in populated areas is the noise they make. PhD student Suryansh Prakar, one of the authors of the paper, told the publication, While food and parcel delivery using drones is growing, the aeroacoustic noise remains one of the issues preventing it. He says da Vinci's design can be used to remove this problem. The Johns Hopkins team created a modernized simulation of da Vinci's aerial screw design and analyzed the aerodynamic forces and acoustic emissions across a range of Reynolds numbers. Upon comparing their data with the two-bladed rotor that is used to make modern drones, the researchers noticed that even though Leonardo's aerial screw has a lower lift coefficient as compared to the traditional design, the aerial screw works with much less mechanical power, and the acoustic intensity for the same net lift is significantly lower. This is because of the screw's large wetted area and lower rotational speed, they added. However, da Vinci's design has not been found optimal when it comes to real-world performance. The paper authors state that the design highlights the potential benefits of unconventional rotor geometries for noise-sensitive applications. However, they don't advise changing all two-blade rotor drones to match da Vinci's design. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.